that again. Hi everyone. <laughs> Welcome to Sampona Yoga Flow. 45 minute flow today, uh, thereabouts. Um, get the body moving, it's strengthening. Some po poses may be a little challenging, so always, you know, work at your own pace. I hope everyone is feeling well and healthy, and you will be at the end of this if you aren't already. So we're gonna let go of all those other things and enjoy 45 minutes for yourself. No thinking about toilet paper, no thinking about masks and gloves, people give a side eye to people that are coughing, <laughs> let it go. So we'll start seated at the back of the mat, close your eyes, take a couple of calming breaths and just come into this place now. Just breathing. On an inhale, we'll sweep our arms up over our heads. Sit up tall, stretch the right side of your body, the left side, the right side, the left side. Both arms up high, clasp your hands, drop the right elbow down, left elbow behind your head and just stretch. Inhale back to center, left elbow down, just stretch, leaning your head back against that right arm. Back up to centre. We'll do that again. Just bring in some motion into your body so you can start to move your rib cage and your shoulders. Back up to centre. Left elbow down. Bringing that movement in. Never feels good. Back up. Float those arms down, stretch out, clear your space. We are ready. Reach your shoulders up, roll back. Take a couple of big shoulder rolls in either direction. Both back and forward. Just however it feels good, just start to move your body, start to feel where you're stiff, where you're going to work into. Punch up and exhale out the mouth. Punch up again. And we'll come standing to the top of our mat. We're going to do breath of life, bring some energy into our body and let go of all of those things. Those toilet paper, the news, the thing, everything, let it out. So it's a three part inhale. So I'll demonstrate. We breathe in, 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 and then a big exhale out the mouth, letting it go. Really think about what you're releasing. So we'll do inhale, 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 exhale. Three more. One more, big one, and stay down, just relax, breathe, grab opposite elbows, bounce a little bit, relax your arms on an inhale, with a straight back sweep up to the sky, standing tall, we are ready to begin, bring your hands to prayer. We'll step forward to the front of the mat. We'll start with a couple of sun salutations to get moving. So, hands by your sides, you're in that strong Tadasana. Standing tall, there's a string pulling you from your head. And we'll breathe in. And on the exhale, hands to prayer. Inhale, arms up, stretch tall. Look up, micro back then. Exhale, forward fold. Relax into that forward fold. Plant your hands down on an inhale. Step your right back foot back into a lunge. Knee down. Look forward, head up. Lean forward into that lunge. Feel that stretch. Feels good. Tuck the back toe. Left leg back, plank. Hold this plank. This is such a strong position. Take a breath. Knees down. Arch your back slightly, 
Go forward, chest and chin down. Just rest here for a second. You actually drop on the exhale, your hips over to the left. And back to center, over to the right. We're gonna start moving, warming up that back, back to center. On an inhale, slither forward onto your belly, legs together like a snake's tail, elbows tucked in by your sides. Just beginning with the crown of your head, nose, chin, throat, look up, baby cobra. And down. Tuck your toes, either push up from your knees or to a plank, either like this or like this, and back to down dog. Take a breath. Pedal your feet a little bit. Feel this first down dog of the day. Look forward. Step your right leg forward between your hands. As always, if you just step into here, just help yourself along. Left knee down, look up, chest forward. Feel the stretch on this side. Tuck that back toe, left foot forward to meet right, head towards the knees, forward bend. Does not matter how bent your knees are right now, just so it feels good. And inhale, sweep the arms up, flat back. Look up, micro back bend, Tadasana. Here we are. Let's go again. Inhale, exhale, hands to prayer. Inhale, reach up, micro back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, left leg back, knee down, look up, chest forward. Hold your breath, right leg back, plank. Exhale, knees down, chest, chin down. Inhale, we'll glide forward into that cobra. Legs are straight, elbows tucked. Inhale. Exhale down, tuck the toes, push up, down dog. Look forward, left leg steps forward, right knee down, look up, chest up. Tuck the toe, right leg meets left, head to knee, forward fold. Straight back, sweep the arms up, inhale, rise up to the sky, micro back bend, and hands to Tadasana. Getting that blood flowing, let's keep going, inhale, exhale, hands to prayer. Inhale, reach up, micro bend, bend back, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, right leg back, keep that knee up, we'll stay in the lunge. Drop the back heel down, foot to 45 degrees, we'll rise up to warrior one. So you're facing the front here, hips are to the front, front, front toes are pointed forward, knee behind the toes, very important, perpendicular angle here. Back leg at 45 degrees, this pose is strength. You are the warrior. And breathe. Bring your hands back to prayer. Lean, lean, lean forward with your body. We're going to take a twist. If you can, just hook that right elbow on the left knee. Take a breath. Waking up that back. Back to centre. Hands behind your back. Clasp your hands together if you can. You can be like this, or you can take a towel, a rope, anything you have handy, if that helps. Take that clasp and open up your chest, look up. Shine your heart. Breathe, and on the exhale, hinge from the hips. Raise your arms up as if somebody's pulling them up on a rope. Flat back, humble warrior. The position of surrender. Take a couple of breaths. On an inhale, flat back, rise up, as if somebody's pulling you by the arms. Look up, shine your heart forward. Release the bind. Step forward with your weight on this left leg. Arms up to the sky, tall and strong. All your weight on that left leg, get comfortable. If you want, you can stay here. Work on raising that foot. The rest of us pivot forward into warrior three. Straight back, you're trying to be like a T. 
If you come out of it, just come back in. If you want to stay here, stay here, whatever works for you. And reach back up. Do a step back, back into that warrior one. Arms up, strong. Bend into that front leg, back into the lunge. Left leg back, plank. Knees down, chest, chin down. Exhale. Inhale, slide forward, cobra. Exhale down. Inhale, push up, back to down dog. Look forward between your hands. Step that right leg forward, lunge. You can shorten your stance a little if you need to, to find your warrior one on this side. Reach up, warrior one, strength. Knee is behind that ankle, and this behind the toes on this side, and a straight line up from the ankle. Back leg at 45 degrees. Strength. Feel how strong you are from your fingertips down. Breathe. Bring your hands to prayer. Reach, bend your body forward from the waist, and take a little twist gently this side. You'll really feel that down the back of your back leg, in your back. Waking up all the parts. Getting all that stale blood out and the fresh stuff in. Bring your hands down behind the back. Take that clasp, open up your chest, look up. Let all the air flood into your chest, fill it up. Oxygenate all that blood, get it moving. From this side or hinge forward to the inside of that right leg, as if someone's pulling you up by the arms. Surrender. Humble warrior. Don't forget to breathe through the nose. <laughs> Rise back up, humble warriors. Breathe. Breathe. <laughs> on an inhale, we'll put the weight on that right leg this time. Reach up to the sky, point your left toe. Either stay here, rise up a little bit, or lean forward. If you can go all the way into a straight line like Adriana, that beautiful warrior three, you might be just here. And rise back up. Step back into your warrior one. Strength. You're so strong. Bring your hands through prayer, back down, lunge. And we're going to step the left leg forward to meet the right, head to knees, forward fold. And relax, breathe. Inhale, rise up, flat back. Exhale, Tadasana. Strong, that blood's flowing. Inhale, exhale, hands to prayer. Inhale, reach up, micro bend back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, right leg back, lunge, look up. We're going to inhale up back to our warrior one. So back foot at 45 degrees, rise up. And on the exhale, open up to warrior two. Hips are to the side, shoulders to square, arms are out, check your position. Conviction, strength, stamina. Mm -hmm. This front knee is over this ankle, keep it perpendicular. If you have to move the back leg back, Make that happen. Strong here, flip that front palm. Reverse the warrior, reach back. Right hand on the leg, no weight on that hand. Bend your elbow, hand on the leg for your neck and look at your toes. Reach up, come back up to warrior two. Deepen that warrior two slightly. <laughs> Burn legs. Burn. You can put that left, up, left elbow on your thigh for support. Reach up to the sky. You can go a little deeper, open your wings. This left hand doesn't touch the ground, it can just brush it. And if you want to take a bind, now's the time for that too. Look up, roll that shoulder open. On an inhale, come up, strong. Straighten both your legs. Give them a little breather. Push fear away. Let that right hip pull back. 
reach forward as if you're trying to push things off of a countertop. Once you've got as far as you can go, just drop down to your shin, to your ankle, to the floor. Reach your right arm up. You should feel as if you should try to be as flat as if you had your whole back to the wall. That's the aim. It's difficult at first, but just so you don't roll forward. Feels so good. And rise back up. <laughs> There's back cracking all over the place here, it's awesome. And we're going to turn our bodies back to the front, back down into this lunge, back down, right leg back to left leg back to right, plank, hold that plank for a breath. Knees down. Yeah, chaturanga, follow Adriana, otherwise, we're knees down, chest, chin. Scoot forward, cobra or up dog. Touch your toes, down dog. We will all meet in down dog. Look forward between your hands, step forward. Warrior one, rise up. Rise up, strong warrior. Look up, open out into warrior two. Hips are square. Look back, check your alignment. Breathe, flip that front palm, reverse warrior, rise up. Okay, <laughs> pause for the sky. Reach up. On an inhale, strong, come up. Sink down a little deeper. Side angle, you can use this thigh for support. Reach up to the sky. You can open your wings if you're feeling strong. Bind, roll that shoulder open and look up. Release the bind. On an inhale, strong, come up straight back, straighten your legs. Push fear away, push coronavirus away. Push, 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 and down. Feel that lengthening all through your back and side body. And on an inhale, rise up tall, like you're being pulled up from the sky. Bend that front leg, bend deeper. <laughs> Pinwheel the arms down, right leg back, plank. Chaturanga, follow Adriana, otherwise knees down, chest chin. Baby cobra, tuck the toes, we'll all meet in down dog. Drop your knees. Wide child's pose. Yay. You've earned this. Yeah. Breathe, five mm. breaths. Just melt. From here, we're going to come forward onto our hands and knees, tabletop position. I know everybody hates this, but it's so good and strengthening. Mm -hmm. We're just going to do a couple of dolphins. So, elbows down, under your shoulders, clasp, pinkies away, tuck your toes, rise up, rise your, up your butt like a down dog, head comes down to the earth. Feel that position. On an inhale, come forward, flat back. Exhale, rise up. Just work at your own pace, try to do six. You can also be on your knees if that isn't working for you, bring the knees down, go from here. But the whole point is this super strengthening shoulder girdle for those awesome headstands and handstands. Really makes a difference to the practice. When you start seeing pictures of yourself with super toned up arms. Thank you, right? Yeah. <laughs> if you want to, you can walk forward with your toes. If you want to push yourself harder, make that position a little higher. You can reach up with the right leg. You can reach up with the left leg. And down. Bring the drop those knees down. Child's pose. And breathe. I love <laughs> Come back up, tabletop. We're just going to open out, so raise up your right arm, open up to 
to the sky. And down, thread it through. Bend that left elbow and twist. Left arm up, take the bind. Do you want me to lift that left leg? So yeah, do it. Up. If you're feeling it today, yes. Beauty. And back down. <laughs> Table top. The other side, so we're going to lift, thread through, raise that right arm up to the sky, take the bind, you can lift if you want, wherever you are, <laughs> you can fall, you can come back down, you can just test things out, you can see how you feel. And when you're ready, just um, gently unwind. Back down, shake it out. Move your hips, move your shoulders, whatever feels good. Sit on your heels. We're gonna do a little back bend. So camera position. This one can make you feel, it really ring, gets into your liver and uh, kidneys and really sort of rings out your internal organs so it can feel a bit weird at first so <laughs> first of all we're going to rise up reach up to the sky so for the beginning if you've never done it before just bring your hands to your lower back either like this or like this just for support you're going to reach up and gently push your, yeah. mm -hmm. push your pelvis forward adrian is going to show you the full expression this one is, for, this is for beginners. You can be right here. Look up. Feel that position. Breathe into that open chest. If you want to go further, try and take one hand and just grab. Grab at your heel. You can try both. Come back by supporting your back. And reach up. Bend forward and just take a cat. Arch that spine. Stretch it out the other way. We do a couple of cat cows. So inhale. Arch. Exhale. Round that spine. Inhale. Cow. Look up. Exhale. back onto our backs, a little ab strengthening, lay down on your back, get comfortable, bring both knees in, give yourself a hug, a back massage, <laughs> bring your legs down, right leg, point that toe, strong straight leg, bring it up, flex and point, bring it down. Don't touch the ground, bring it back up. Flex and point, bring it down, all the way down. Left leg, point, bring it up. As straight as you can, doesn't matter if it's not straight. Down, don't touch the ground. Up, flex and point, down. Both legs, you can put some weight on your hands if that helps you. You can even slide your hands under your butt. Flex and point, bring them down. If you want to challenge yourself, don't touch the ground, just an inch above it. Bring them back up, flex and point, down, up. Work with your breath, find your rhythm. Don't give up, think about all those fridge visits you've been doing all day, every day. <laughs> I've lost count, but I'm guessing two more. <laughs> Feels like two One more, strong, you've got it, you can do it. And bring those legs in, hug. Roll around. Bring your, bring your hands up by your ears. 
No pressure on the hands, just to keep this position. Shoulders are wide. Look up, curl your head up, punch up. Stretch out that right leg. Right elbow to left knee. We're gonna do 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Strong toes, pointed. Three, two, one. Yes. In. Keep those arms up by your by your head. And we're just gonna, with control, gently bring those knees down to the right. And feel that stretch in your back. Inhale, back up to centre. And exhale, knees down to the left. Keeping that right shoulder on the ground. Back up to centre. One more time. Knees down. Back up. Knees down, back up. All right. So from here, we're going to go into a reverse tabletop position. So just think about that tabletop, how you're all square. Same thing, just facing the other way. So hands behind your hips, feet are parallel, shoulder width, hip width. On the inhale, rise your body up, let your head drop back. And really raise your pelvis up to the sky. You'll feel that strong pull across your shoulders. And down. If you can, just bring, bring your butt back between your arms. Otherwise, just sit down and up again. This is a great reverse stretch for the shoulders after all the chaturangas. And down. One more. <laughs> Why just sit down and wake up? And down. And we'll end up back here in a seated position. <laughs> you got too much booty. No, but I haven't doing it. <laughs> so, sitting up tall here. Feel that good position. Feel that blood pumping. Ooh. Feel how strong you are. You're so strong. You're going to stay healthy all the way through this. Just be keeping strong, flooding your body with new blood, new air. Sit up tall. We're going to do a couple of forward bends. So reach your arms up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Doesn't matter if your legs are super bent either. Just keep your back flat. Push from your lumbar, not from the top of your back. If you can grab the soles of your feet, Grab the soles and just use your arms to pull yourself towards your toes. Stretch. Inhale, reach up once more. Fold forward, push forward, look forward. Melt over your legs. And reaching back up. Bring that right foot in to a seated tree position. Square off over the left leg. Right knee down. Doesn't have to be all the way down. Can you up here? Reach up tall. And stretch forward. Towards that toe. Same thing. Straight back from the lumbar. Keeping that right shoulder down and level. Feel that lovely stretch. Bring it back up. There's something different. Just raise that right leg up. Bring it flat to the ground. Hug it in. See how this feels. This feels like a good stretch. We're going to reach, reach the right arm up. Try and get your armpit on your shin. It's a weird feeling. Let's see how that feels. The object is to take a bind and twist open. If not, just hold on to this shin and just take a gentle twist with your left hand behind your back. Good 
back to centre and shake it out. Other side, can't have one lovely toe leg and not the other. Reach up to the sky. Well, that's what you have to do, might as well experiment with it. <laughs> <laughs> and forward. Oh, and good. stretch. And while we're in this lovely stretch, I just it just crossed my mind, I want to give a shout out to Monica and Patty, who are doing this yoga from out in the sea somewhere in Central America on their way back to America. I'm so stoked that you two are doing it. It made my day yesterday. Then rise back up. We're going to bring that leg in. And try the same thing on this side. So reach up and hold on to this leg with the other hand. Reach up. Try and get your armpit over your shin. Maybe it's just here. Hold this leg today. This Put this right hand behind you and just gently open the front body. Just feel that, feel that stretch. Or take that bite. The Maharishi pose. And gently pull back. Shake them out. Take a wide-legged stance. Forward fold from here. Actually, you know what? We're going to fold to the side first. Keep, as we've got that spine so warmed up earlier. So right, right arm in front of the right leg. Left arm up and over. All the side body stretch. Doesn't matter if the legs are bent or straight, just keep, feel the integrity of that side stretch so you're not rolling forward, keeping that shoulder open. On an inhale, rise up, and the other side. You can look up, peek up at the ceiling, And rise back up. Put both hands behind your hips, lift up and just push yourself forward. Do that a couple of times just to get that really good stretch. And if you're at your max, stay here. Just stay there, your legs can still be bent too if you like. If this is super pushing it for you, which Dad, I hope you're doing it today, I'm sure you're here, stay here. <laughs> Just to where you're going, where you're getting a stretch out of it, but you're not hurting yourself. And gently fold forward. Hinge from the hips, tip your pelvis forward, bring your arms to the front, walk out. Maybe to your elbows, maybe to fingertips. Just to give yourself whatever you need. Breathe into those thighs. Those toned, non-jiggly thighs. <laughs> that are in our futures. Keep the toes pointing up at the sky. And gently walk back up. You can bend, help your knees bend with your hands if you want. Bring them in. Butterflies. Fly. Fly, fly, fly. Flap your wings, fly away. Feels so good, it really helps them to open up and just loosen. Then come to stillness, sit up tall, mm -hmm. and exhale, hinge forward. Same stretch, just feels slightly different from this position. You can use your elbows to push your knees down. Reach up, breathe up. Okay, bring them in. We're gonna come onto our bellies. Just looking at the clock. We've got we've just about got time for this. So come onto our belly. <laughs> Stretching out, Superman. We're gonna do that roll with that lovely spinal twist. So roll to the right, bring your left leg up, open your arms out, twist. Probably feels great after that camel. Back to centre, other side. Uh, we decided as adults we don't do enough rolling around on the ground. So 
we're trying to incorporate that more. <laughs> Bring it in. We're gonna do the, as we're working on our backs today, we're gonna do the other nice back bend that everyone hates that is so strengthening and so good for you. It's the locust. So we're gonna put our arms under our body. You can have fists, palms down, palms down the other way, whatever feels good for you, find your place. So you want to put your whole arms under your body. You don't wanna see your elbows, you don't wanna see anything. You can clasp them. You can have them beside each other. Find your position. Feels uncomfortable, AF, but so good for your back. Good for your arms. Good for your arms, good for everything. Lengthening, all right, breathe. Pick up, bring awareness to that right foot, strong right foot, point it, lift it, just to where it's comfortable. Maybe it's an inch off the ground. Flex and point, down, left leg. Bring awareness, point, Lift if you can, flex and point, down. Focusing on a long spine and a long neck, keeping your gaze down. Left, right leg again, flex and point, down, left, flex and point, down. Test of willpower, can you do it? Yes, you can. Both legs, point, keep your gaze down. Don't move your head or neck. Inhale, both legs. Try to zip them together, try to lift them, try to point your toes, try to breathe, try to <laughs> smile and release. It's tough, but it's, it makes you so strong. Take a breath, we're gonna do that again. So good for tunnel vision, for not tunnel vision, what do they call that? That, that, that thing? That Carpal do. tunnel. That's it. Carpal tunnel, tunnel. yeah. All these things, it's lengthening your back, strengthening tunnel you are. <laughs> tunnel vision. <laughs> Keep your gaze down, okay, zip those legs up. Point, you're so strong. Up, you can do this. If they feel like they're nailed to the ground, just keep working on it. Just go back to maybe one at a time and see if that's possible. Breathe, move two more breaths, big breaths into your belly. Higher legs, and down. Release the arms, rest your head on your side, on your cheek. Windshield wiper those feet and hips from side to side. Push up and back into a child's pose. Coming forward. We're going to keep those feet at mat width. Elbows are pushing knees out. Time for one little, one last pose. We've been working on the crow lately, so we'll see where our crows are. If it's your first time doing it, follow me. If, you, if you've done it before, if you know what you're doing, fly crow, fly. <laughs> <laughs> Put your hands down, big wide crow's feet. Raise your hips up, keep your gaze forward. Start to bring your weight onto your elbows from the shins. If this is good for you, Lift up the toe, lift up the other toe. Touch your toes together. And breathe. If this is not, if this doesn't feel good for you, if you're still here struggling to balance, just keep working on moving that weight forward and bringing it back. Moving it forward, lifting your toe and back. Nobody wants to fall on their face, so. Fly, crows. Fly, my pretties. <laughs> <laughs> and down. We're going to raise those hips up. You're in a forward fold. Exhale out through your mouth. And let it out. Shake your head no. Shake your head yes. And just relax. You did so well today. It's so strengthening, it's challenging, you, but that's the beauty of it. You can make it as difficult as you want or as easy. Just go with your own breath. It was fun to have a short flow today. Breathe in and exhale. Bring, bring your butt down, roll back. Find yourself back on your back in Shavasana. Make any adjustments you need to feel comfortable. 
lay here and smile. It's an awesome practice, full body flow. Feel all that fresh oxygenated blood flying around your body. You're strong, you're healthy. Scan your body and see how you feel. Let's start at the toes. The toes and feet, ankles, they're completely relaxed. And breathe. Your knees, your thigh bones, your hips, pelvis, completely relaxed. Moving up, your waist, your ribs, intercostal muscles, lungs, heart, shoulders, completely relaxed. Well, your heart isn't, but <laughs> your, your arms, tops of your arms, elbows, forearms and wrists, all your fingers completely relaxed. Your shoulders, your neck, jaw, cheeks, ears, nose, eyes, scalp, completely relaxed. Your whole body is completely relaxed. Just take this time, these few breaths, to turn your attention inwards. Try to focus on the point between your eyebrows. That helps to stop your mind from wandering. And just completely relax. Enjoy this feeling. back into your body and just deepening that breath a little, filling your lungs, breathing into your fingers and toes, putting some life back in there, rolling the wrists and ankles, stretch your arms up over your head, point your toes, a good morning stretch, exhale, bring your knees into your chest, keeping your eyes closed, just gently roll over onto your right side. And using your hands to help you up, make your way back up, eyes closed, into the seated position that we began in. Just any comfortable seat, face in the front, you're, you're relaxed, sitting up tall, hands are on your knees, and breathe. I always have such a calm feeling in my mind, but my body is so energized after yoga. And I hope that you get you are starting to get that same thing. It's a really great feeling. Take it with you for the rest of the day. Stay really healthy. Take care of yourselves. Have vitamin C. Keep practicing yoga. Keep smiling. Bring your hands to heart center. The light that's in me sees and honors the lights that, that are in all of you. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing. Have a great Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever Have it is. Have an awesome day doing whatever you're doing. <laughs> what is, and what is today? it's Tuesday, I think. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow for a Hatha Raja, Raja flow tomorrow. Yeah, we'll just keep it. <laughs>